the reptilian control of Earth, exposed, secret space program, and uh, this is concerning William Tompkins' UFO ET disclosure. He's not a whistleblower. He was told to tell this to the world. And this is part two of the series. Nazis, reptilians, and secret space program. They, uh, he said that uh, they, they tell us this is not your planet. It's not your moon. Humanity is in fact an experiment for extraterrestrials and interdimensional beings. And they, uh, uh, we are there to be consumed by them. Now this is part two of the summary of the testimony of William Tompkins, who worked for North American Aviation, Northrop Douglas Aircraft, designing advanced space aircraft and weapon systems and assisting in the Saturn Apollo space programs for NASA. Now the life extending reverse technology does exist, he claims, and the US government has it in the form of either four rounds of shots or four small pills taken every several months. Males in the program are regressed to the average age of 29, while females to the age of 21. Similar technology has given was given to selected German and reptilians during World War II. And I remember about a month or so ago, I did post a video concerning uh, uh, the um, CIA secret uh, experiments on various people and uh, the uh, drugs having to do with longevity. Some of them lived over the age of 100. So yes, uh, life extending uh, pills or rounds. Males regress to average age of 29, females to average age of 21. In addition to the reverse aging, this technology increases brain capacity from our current 2% to 3% to 400% to 800%. Nordics and Blue ETs pose extended life, some 2,000 to 3,000 years, and enhanced brain capacity. This reminds us of the uh, Sumerian uh, kings list, doesn't it, where they used to live thousands of years. Going back to this, the fact that we only use 2 to 3% of our brain capacity is due to reptilian interference for thousands of years, the artificially shortened in the shortening of human life and re the reduction in brain capacity is to ensure no one can figure all this out, according to him. Disclosure of the reptilian problem has to be accelerated for some reason, but not everyone agrees on how much information to reveal. A fear of turning off an ignorant public when we desperately need them to be aware and engaged in the problem. Now let's remember this is not only ETs and UFOs appearing in the United States, they appear everywhere in the world. Now reptilian ships, these extraterrestrial ships, have been photographed spraying orange chemicals over populations. These chemicals prevent humans from thinking properly, acting and doing, from figuring things out. It's stated that no one can really know what the ultimate end game is for the reptilians because of this fact. An area can be sprayed once or even 5,000 times, depending on what is being attempted by human groups. William Tompkins also confirmed many of the missing children are, in fact, uh, their food. Now, he says, I've included disturbing facts because only two types of groups will read this article, those who are already have some knowledge or an acceptance of the subject and the government agencies that monitor and censor such communications. Bill Tompkins planned additional interviews to delve further into the darkest aspect of this reality, but he passed away uh, just a little bit, about a month after he made this um, interview. But of course, he was 94 years old at the time. Uh, he was very concerned that revealing too much, especially uh, the part about um, the consumption of, you know, this is obviously they're malevolent extraterrestrials. Um, now, in reality, we're not human, he says, we're, they don't think of us as being human, nor ethnic, religious, or cultural. We are extraterrestrial, interdimensional beings ourselves, he says. It's now more pressing than ever to get over our divisions in humanity and focus on the real threat. And the Battle of Los Angeles, William Tompkins was, he says, an eyewitness to the Battle of Los Angeles UFOs, along with thousands of others. The real story of the battle for Los Angeles was that was not reported in the newspapers is as follows. 
It was not one craft that sat stationary over Los Angeles while our armed forces peppered it with shells. It was thousands of crafts, he said. Smaller craft were zooming all around. And they did not stay in Los Angeles, but also flew in formation over adjacent cities as well. So this is his eyewitness account. Being unsuccessful at even getting one round of artillery to impact the largest craft, there was some sort of energy barrier that prevented them from getting through. Military began to track the smaller craft with their searchlights, and the Navy managed to shoot two of these crafts down and recovered one from the bottom of the ocean off the coast. I guess the shields up, uh, as per uh, Star Trek, were not working for those two crafts that were shot down. Now, all of this was going on in the United States, while at the very same time the Nazis were bombing London in World War II, just a few days after this event, the Navy directed the establishment of above-top secret think tanks to tackle the UFO problem. And as per William Tonkins, during the war, the war, the U.S. Navy managed to gain access to documents and photographic intelligence through the use of German-speaking spies, including photos of UFOs both inside and outside, and had been gifted, quote-unquote, to them by the reptilians. The data included technical documents in the form of hieroglyphics. Navy spies were able to include comments next to the hieroglyphics after interviewing other Germans as to their meaning. Thus began a massive effort on the part of the U.S. Navy to urgently begin the process of reverse engineering these fantastical discoveries. Some of these UFOs were equipped with conventional weapons, while others, larger ones, had advanced laser systems, also gifted to by the reptilians, which were transported along with thousands of slaves to Antarctica. Uh, we can see Project High Jump for that. And our, uh, in the, our inside intelligence also uncovered other groups of ETs. The Blues were working with another group of German citizens in the construction of a massive 50,000 aerospace passenger transport to evacuate humans from the planet. Now, this group was discovered by Nazis and plan was put to halt for four months until Hitler decided to let them continue working with the blue ETs while at the same time he was working with the reptilians on their projects and he determined he could benefit from both groups in this way. Uh, now, through Nazis who were successful completing construction of thousands of UFOs prior to, world, to the end of World War II, they do possess many craft and have joined forces with their billions to conquer and dominate every planet and every star they can find. Now, according to the, the Apollo moon landing, this is a sketch made by William Tompkins as to uh, the extraterrestrial aircraft parked at the ridge of the crater watching the uh, U.S. astronauts as they were landing. So, in addition to the massive ships hovering just above the surface, hundreds of nine-foot-tall reptilians were on the ground underneath the crafts. Neil Armstrong said they were trying to intimidate the Apollo astronauts. Prior to, so, uh, so uh, Tompkins says that, the, uh, that that's one reason why we never went back to the moon, were the reptilians. Now, prior to the footage shown to the world walking down the capsule ladder saying one small step, the crew placed a Masonic plaque on the surface of the moon and took pictures, thereby declaring the moon's ownership of the, the Mason's ownership of the moon. And next, they placed a Masonic flag in the ground and took pictures. Bill's bio, as we said, uh, he was not a whistleblower. He was encouraged to come forward by undisclosed parties to reveal and confirm what's been going on with mankind for thousands of years. He indicated we no longer have the time for continued slow rolling of UFO disclosure because, in his words, we need help uh, to protect ourselves against these reptilians. And this is on uh, by Patrick C. on Bended Reality. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.